Take a nice deep breath in. And release. Brothers and sisters, are you a loner? If you don't have time, believe in yourself. Shout out to my loners. Now, five signs that you are a loner. Number one, you value your time. When I say value your time, I mean you enjoy your time alone, your time off, your time away from people because you don't personally like drama. Drama gives you anxiety. Am I right? I'm probably right, aren't I? Not only does drama give you anxiety, it makes you, it repels you from people in general. But another thing about being loner is that a lot of times loners are very reliable people, punctual. They will be there for you at any moment, at any time, because that's just who they are. They will help you through any situation. A lot of times loners are impasse, and I'll get, I'll get back to that later in this video. Another sign that uh, you're loners, you're very self-aware. You're in tune with yourself, meaning, as I always say, as within, so without. But you are also in tune with nature and in tune with the way you feel. You are very self-aware. Now, you also illuminate wherever you go. A lot of empaths, loners, they illuminate wherever they go, and that's the reason why it's difficult to be a loner because a lot of people sometimes they just want to be around you because you light up a whole room wherever you walk you light up everything almost like you're a freaking beacon and people they want to be around you and yet they can't understand why they you don't pick up their phone calls because one probably you don't want to hear the drama you just want to spend time by yourself or with your dog and a lot of loners, I notice, love their pets. Like, like for me, I love my dog. I really love my puppy. I love my dog to death. Like, to the point where I'd do anything to get my dog, to make sure my dog is in my possession. Another thing about being a loner, large crowds, man. I'm telling you right now, again, back to large crowds, like, I can't stand being in large crowds because large crowds give me anxiety. Again, large crowds come with drama, man. And a lot of times when you, I can tell you from experience when I was a child, I nobody could understand why I would get so, even though I drank a couple Shirley Temples. <laughs> no, a lot of times people couldn't figure out why I couldn't stand being around, like, when the country club life, like, being around, like, so many people. I remember when I was younger, and I, I'd spend time with my uncle, and I, I really love my uncles to this day, and, like, I really look up to my uncles, although I haven't spoke to them in years. If any of my uncles see this, I just know I love you guys very much. I think about you very often. But I used to be taken to restaurants, and my uncles always had a lot of friends, and they enjoyed being around a lot of friends. But there's a few times where he'd, he'd have to bring me home um, in order for me to, like, collect myself and and to feel better because I was be, being put in situations that I, I couldn't deal with. Another sign that, well, I was a loner, and I got... Being a loner comes with mad anxiety and shout out to all my loners. These are five signs that you're a loner um, You're an empath you're a natural you are naturally in tune with yourself But you are also empathetic which means you can feel things that other people can't feel You know when something's off generally your gut instinct is on point all the time is always on point you know when something's wrong and you know what my gut instinct has been telling me there's something wrong i don't want to speak about it on my channel but this is my way of saying 
remember, if you're a loner, like, it's okay to be that person that wants their time always to themselves. There's no problem with that. And a lot of times I'm discovering being an empath indigo child, I only want to be with one person. When I say one person, I mean like one to two people at a time. Or with my fiance, the person I really appreciate. And these are things that, you know, they, it's, this is what comes with being a loner. And, and does it suck? Absolutely not. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have it any other way. And do I know what, the, do I know what it feels like to be on the other, the other side of it? Yeah, I do. I just don't, I choose not to be a part of the drama. Now, I can see, I've seen people, this is something I want to express. When I see fake people, uh, another thing loners don't like is fake people. People that just sit there and blatantly lie to your face when you know they're lying to you. For example, every time I see, um, a, I'm just going to speak of this. One of my family members come around, a lot of people put on this fake facade, alright? And then, the family member comes around and all of a sudden it's just like, ah, 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 and you see this whole fake show as if it's like a show. It's what it is, a show. It's like they're putting on a show. To a lot of times, people want to impress you if you're if you're a loner, and people want to impress you, man. So they go out of their way to make a show out of everything, and that shit ain't cool, man. It, it just causes drama. Anyways, that's what I see, and those are some signs that you're an empath, you're an indigo, and you're a loner. You're a rainbow child, crystal child, light worker. I want to give a shout out to all my my light workers, all my all my indigo children, and all my crystal children. Love, man, I love you all very much. And believe in yourself, seriously, believe in yourself. You don't need all these people in your life. Remember that. And now that COVID nineteen, see, we've been ex we've dealt with this our whole lives, where we we don't have to deal with people. And now the people that haven't dealt with it, they're that's the reason why I believe there's so much turbulence and tur turmoil going on. It's because a lot of people haven't dealt with what we dealt with. And now they're having to deal with it because of COVID-19. So I think that's the reason why the world's being thrown off. <laughs> like, put the pieces together, brothers and sisters. It's, it's bad, man. I, it doesn't really bother me because, again, shout out to my loners. We like to be alone. This is what makes us feel good. But not a lot of people can take what we can take. You know, as uh, <clears throat> every human, and I don't feel like I'm from this world. I feel completely opposite, man. I feel like I'm not from this world. I've, I know I've been sent here to ascend people. And people listen. <laughs> Look at this cloud. A lot of empaths that are loners also recognize that like animals are so beautiful like they're the most beautiful creatures on earth why because they don't judge you man animals don't judge you they maybe instinctually but when you have a dog or a pet somebody that you really love and you know you'll fight for that dog especially when it's yours and you know like I've, I'm, I'm going through an experience right now where I was given a dog for Christmas, okay, and his name's King, and right now, somebody is keeping him away from me, and it's literally breaking my heart, like, it's breaking my fucking heart, dude, and I don't even know what to do, like, and do I feel helpless? No, because I'll get him back, I have the proof that he's my dog, he, he was bought, I had got him for Christmas, my brothers and sisters, and, like, to be honest with you, it hurts so fucking much, man. And this is the reason why I always say have a little bit of faith, man. Because faith and hope can get somebody so far. And I know he'll be back with me. It's only a matter of time. Because I, I won't have it. I won't have it any other way. He brings me so much joy. And that's the reason why a lot of times loners, they just love their pets. And they would they treat their pets almost as if they're... A family member, which my dog is part of my family, and I don't feel it. I'm not his owner, I'm his caretaker. And I always have been since day one, since he stepped foot back into my life. Brother and sister, I want to say I love and I appreciate you supporting my channel. And if you're feeling alone and you're feeling like a loner, just let go.
have a little faith. Everything will work out, I promise you. <laughs> May peace be with you. Also with you, I want to give my thanks and praise to the universe. My thanks and praise to God. Thank you. Y'all have a good one.